Hey guys, welcome to this video on uniform distribution. So we're gonna answer a couple of questions about uniform distribution. Here's this page on andymath.com. I'll include a link down below in the description if you wanna visit it yourself. It has related pages and other things. But we're gonna do these five problems. The train stop at Andytown station every 20 minutes. Assume the distribution of the waiting time is a uniform distribution. So find the height of this uniform distribution. Uniform distribution, the area of them always equals one. That's the one key important thing here. If it's every 20 minutes, our base, our bottom is going to be 20, which means that our height of the uniform distribution needs to be one over 20 because 20 times one over 20 is equal to one because those cancel and you get one. So the answer to the first one, when it says find the height of uniform distribution, the answer is going to be one over 20. And this is the reason why. So for number two, find the probability of waiting more than five minutes. We'll draw another rectangle. But if we have our rectangle again, and we know that five minutes is here, we could say 10, 15, 20, and zero. And we know the height is still one over 20. They wanna know, find the probability of waiting more than five minutes. Well, that's gonna be everything greater than this right here. So we wanna know what is the probability of all of this stuff happening. Well, it's just going to be a base times height situation. The base here is 15 and the height is one over 20. When we multiply that, we get 15 over 20 or three fourths or 75%. So the answer number two should be one of those, probably 75%. There it is, both 15 over 20 or 75%. So number three, we can sketch another rectangle for it. And we have the same thing, the zero, the five, the 10, the 15, and the 20. And the height is still one over 20. Now we're shading between five and 15 because it says the probability of waiting between five and 15 minutes. So we want all of this. So what is the base here? Well, the base of this rectangle is 10 because it's between five and 15. And the height is still the one over 20. So 10 times one over 20 is 10 over 20 or 50%. So the answer number three should be 50%. And there it is, 50%. So I hope these all make sense. So I'm gonna clear all this work. So pause it if you wanna write anything down and we'll tackle the last two. So number four and number five are talking about the mean wait time and the variance of the wait time. So I'll go back up to the notes. So the mean is mu equals a plus b over two. The a was equal to zero because zero minutes is the minimum, and then B was equal to 20, 20 minutes was the max, and then that's how we find our mu. So our mu equals zero plus 20 over two, and that's 10. So if we check this answer, that's 10. So all you do is just take your two endpoints, add them together and divide by two. And then for the variance, we subtract them, square them and divide by 12. So once again, our B was 20, so it's gonna be 20 minus zero squared over 12. This is gonna give us our variance. Well, 20 minus zero is just 20, and 20 squared is 400. So it's 400 over 12, which reduces into 100 over three, which is 33 bar three. And we can check that answer, uh, 33 and one third, which is the same thing. So I hope this makes sense. This is a, just a quick demonstration of how to do problems with uniform distributions. If you want to visit this page on andymath.com, I'll include a link down below in the description. There's also related pages on other distributions with sample problems on all those. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment below if you have any other questions. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 